Hi, folks. Welcome to Crisco's Corner. Hi, folks. Welcome back. From TimCast.com. I am going to lose my over this. Biden administration exporting oil from U.S. strategic reserves to Europe and Asia. They put Asia, but it's China. It's China. The Biden administration indefinitely continues releasing oil from the strategic petroleum reserve at its current rate. The entire supply could be gone by early 2023. Are you out of your mind? Are you insane? I mean, talk about a Manchurian candidate. You got to be kidding me. You have to be kidding me. Just how stupid are these people? Or evil? As Americans struggle with record high gasoline and diesel prices, the Biden administration is tapping the U.S. strategic reserves and sending oil overseas. More than 5 million barrels of oil were exported to Europe and Asia last month as the average price for gas across the nation reached $5 for the first time in history. With the price of gas being what it is, even even politically, these morons, you know, I don't know if you could do it through executive order, but make a policy, not one drop of oil that could be used, there's different kinds of oil. This oil especially is easy to process, from my understanding, to gasoline. Not one drop leaves the United States until this crisis is over. It might bring down prices a little bit. But even still, this is incredible to me. It's our oil, our being the American people. I, I, I don't even know what to say. I am so, I am so off. The SPR is a complex of four sites with deep underground storage caverns created in salt domes along the Texas and Louisiana Gulf Coast. It is managed by the U.S. Department of Energy and created in 1975 to offset any future disruptions in oil supply. That's back when OPEC used to have some power. It is not for offsetting high prices due to policy decisions or market conditions. Well, then you say, well, John, you know, uh, if it's not to do that, if it's not to pump in our own economy to bring the prices down, then what's your problem with exporting it? To China? To China. Our number one global adversary. It's the largest known emergency oil supply in the world, and they're depleting it. And they've been depleting it for a while, even before Ukraine. Because they're trying to pay off debt with it. In March, President Biden ordered the release of 1 million barrels of oil per day from the SPR through the month of October. Oh, just before the election. You know what? This guy is such an asshole. I'm sorry to say it. The SPR has now reached its lowest level since 1986. It might even be Biden. He's not really president. Let's tell the truth here. I love to find out the little little cabal that really is. I mean, overeducated, white liberal morons. Now let's take a look what Tucker has to say. Uh, it's it's quite a long video. I'm only going to show part of it. Its refinery in India, an industry source said, a third cargo buckle your seatbelt headed to China. To China. So as gas prices set records. In this country, as American citizens who are born here and vote and pay taxes cannot afford to fuel their own cars, the Biden administration is selling off our emergency oil reserves to China. <sighs> That's not an indictable offense. It's certainly an impeachable one. And they should impeach him for that. What, are they going to sell the redwood forest to China next? How about the water rights to the Great Lakes? That's the equivalent of what he just did. Now, if you're keeping track, they didn't even need it. 
China and India already have access to very cheap oil from Russia. Why? Thanks to the Biden administration's lunatic ban on Russian oil imports. For moral reasons, it was a moral victory. The people of Ukraine, remember that? Zelensky. He was George Washington, said George W. Bush. You wouldn't know George Washington if he got in the shower with him. According to customs data, China spent $19 billion on Russian oil, gas, and coal earlier this year. That's double the amount they spent over the same period last year. India spent $5 billion on Russian oil. That's up five times from what they spent a year ago. So we just made Russia a ton of money. That's why the ruble is so strong as the dollar is getting weaker. Yeah, isn't that wonderful? Isn't that wonderful? We're pumping in billions and billions of dollars now to the Russian economy from India and China. The ones are the biggest polluters in the world for you green people out there. While you pummel our economy, this, I, I'm, I'm not a tinfoil hat conspiracy guy. I, I'm not. But this, if this is an outright stupidity, and one man, I'll, I'll say this about Biden, not one man could be this absolutely <laughs> stupid. This is done on purpose. This is done on purpose to undermine the United States. I know that sounds like a tinfoil hat conspiracy theory, but there's no other explanation. Because you can't get many of that stupid people that have that much power and control in the Oval Office or the executive branch. It's impossible. It's impossible. Russia has raked in $13 billion in additional revenue from India and China compared to the same period last year. Following all this? This is how we're punishing our enemies? By selling off our own most valuable assets and watching Russia and India and, my God, China get richer? Now, on top of all of that cheap Russian oil, China is getting petroleum from our emergency petroleum reserves. The crude, by the way, in the SPR is the best crude that we have. It's called medium sour crude. It's the easiest to process. And we're giving it away to a government whose whole goal is to displace us on the global stage and crush us. The Chinese will be cruel masters when they run the world. They're not like us at all. Yeah. You people want to get out of America? You want to get out of America how evil and rotten we are? Live under Chinese rule for a while. The CCP, see how you like it. People are absolutely clueless. It's disgusting. You can go on uh, Fox News, their YouTube uh, homepage to see this entire video. It's really well done by Tucker. My hats are up. My hats off to him. Back to the Timcast article. If the amount of oil were released based on the current inventory, it would take 111 days to deplete the entire supply of U.S. oil reserves. If the Biden administration definitely continues releasing oil from the SPR at its current rate, the entire supply will be gone by early November. Isn't that interesting? Right around election time. A former DOE, Department of Energy official, has gone on record calling the nation's emergency oil reserves illegal. The Biden administration's announcement that it will release 180 barrels of crude oil from the SPR over six months is unlawful and harms our national security. Well, of course it does. After the 1973 Arab oil embargo, I remember all that. I got out of high school in 74. I remember all of it distinctly. Had concerns regarding the potential for government to manipulate normal market functions prompted Congress to limit the circumstances when SPR crude oil would be released. Biden's energy policies contributed to high prices well before Russia invaded Ukraine. I saw, I think it was called Gas Buddy, if you want to look it up. From November November 2020 to November 2021, gas went up 66% in the United States before Russia invaded Ukraine. News of the emergency reserves release comes a week after Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm met with oil and gas executives in a closed-door meeting to discuss ways to reduce energy costs. The oil companies go along with it? I'm not so sure. It's just... Now, there should be any doubt of the hostility toward our industry with just words. On day one of your presidency, you personally canceled a Keystone XL pipeline, the letter stated. A week later, you issued an executive order enacting a moratorium on new leasing on public lands and waters. Now, for those of you who say, well, Biden's just going along with what he said. He's going to eliminate fossil fuels and push us towards green renewable energy, which is a pipe dream right now with technology. We'll say, yep, that's what he did. 
He kept his promise. Oh, nobody was listening. All they heard was Trump, 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 Trump. Trump is bad. Trump is this. Trump doesn't mean tweets. Trump is an ass. He's a pompous fool. He's dangerous. He's a danger to democracy. Blah, 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 blah. Well, you Biden voters, this is what happens when you vote against somebody rather than for somebody. The latest exports follow three vessels that carried SPR crude to Europe in April, helping replace Russian crude supplies, according to Reuters. Now, let's take a look at the spokesperson for the president of the United States, the Oval Office, the executive branch, whatever you want to call it. When asked a question, not by Fox, oddly enough, but by a, a reporter, not from Fox and not from Newsmax, about selling oil in the middle of a huge price increase, basically screwing over the American people. And her response is amazing to me. Amazing to me. Let's just listen. Um, and then there's a Reuters report um, out this morning that says that more than 5 million barrels of oil that were released from the emergency of oil reserves were exported to Europe and Asia last month, and some of it reportedly was actually heading to China. Uh, is the administration aware of those reports, and um, you know, does, it, does the president mind that some of this oil that was meant to uh, ease pain for consumers is headed overseas? I have not seen that report, so I would honestly have to go look into it and see what what the truth is in that in that uh, statement that you just laid out and see exactly what's happening. I, I just have not seen that report. I, I have not seen that report. How could she possibly stand there with a straight face and say that? She is the mouthpiece representative, uh, we'll call it stand-in, spokesperson for the President of the United States. And she has no idea she's lying. You see at the beginning, she puts her eyes all the way up. That's where her searching her brain for a proper response. And the only response is, I don't know. I don't know. This is a Harvard-educated woman. How, how could you be this stupid? Or maybe you're just conniver and liar. You're screwing over the American people. How can you have no idea where it's going? Absolutely insane. Well, there you have it, folks. You know, I hate to get on the Biden voters, and sometimes I'm a little nice to them, and sometimes I'm not. But this is what happens when you vote against somebody instead of for somebody. You may have not liked the choices, Trump or Biden. I get that. Uh, full disclosure, I'm still a Trump supporter. A big Trump supporter. Because I love this country and the things they were going on. And I could give a damn about his personality and what he says. It's what he does as president that all I care about. You guys put us in this spot. You put these morons in charge. Absolute stupidity. Even Jen Psaki got the hell out of there while the getting out was good. Who is really president? I don't think it matters anymore. What? Look what they're doing. Our political, geopolitical adversary, number one in the world is China. And they're doing everything in their power to help them and hurt us. And that's all you need to know. Do not vote for a Democrat for the next five years. Whether it be a local city council race. I used to be a city councilman here in upstate New York. Dog catcher, sheriff, county executive, congress member, governor, anything for five years until these morons are swept out of political and, and institutional power. Do it if you love this country. Until the next time, goodbye and good luck. You're going to need it.